Hello, hello, and welcome back to Nitrome One Key, a game that has won me over a lot more than I expected it to, if I'm being honest. This game is uh, very quirky and fun, and it's so far impressing me with its use of its simple mechanic. Excuse me. Simple mechanic. <clears throat> Stay back there, buddy. Shit. Shit. Oh yeah, I see the square meal faces at the- oh shit. I was looking at chat and I fucked up. God damn it. Yeah, right next to the can, and there's a, a square meal face, you're right. Shit. God damn, I'm sucking at this. Aiming those cannons is difficult. Harder than it looks. Yeah, this game's cute and fun. I'm I'm liking it so far. There we go. God damn it. No. There we go. Aha! You can cheat these things if you just mash space. They never get a chance to put their spikes out. Block or drop down and you press space. Okay. That's... Oh my god, there's gonna be so much shit you have to juggle with this game. I love it. Especially if you were trying to get all the gems, which I am not. Watch out for the jumping guardian there, trigger me, press... Okay. Damn it. I, I keep forgetting you can just hold space for the... propellers. Jump, jump you bitch, get out of here. Shit. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, hey, let, let, let's 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 just restart right there. I wish there was a set restart button to press. Here we go. gems in this level, but it's because this level's, uh, relatively easier to get the gems in compared to others. Ah, uh, damn it. No! Okay. Ooh, I let the jumper back in my direction. 
There we go. Come on. God damn it. Oh, fuck me. Woo! Couldn't have timed things better there. Let's not go worry about the last gem. God. <laughs> this game is surprisingly difficult for, for, like, how simple it is in concept. All right, those platforms just raise up as long as I'm holding space and then drop pretty quickly. little uh, mechanic of how collisions work in this game I just discovered by accident. Oh shit, okay. God damn it. Oh shit, wait, no, okay, we're about to take some damage. Yeah, I figured out how those cut platforms work. Thank you, game. God damn it. I feel like a sequel to this would be it would be just having multiple creatures you have to guide together. Like that's the obvious way to elevate the difficulty here, and that's like basically again what Ma I keep drawing the comparison, but what Mario vs. Donkey Kong Marsh of the Minis is. And the reason I think it's very significant to be mentioning that is this game, I'm pretty sure, came out before March of the Minis. Now, somebody will have to fact check me on that, but I think this is the originator of this game style, as far as I'm aware. Uh, you know, just probably start games like this. I guess Lemmings is kind of a similar concept, so I shouldn't be too, too rough on Nintendo in this regard. Oh shit, wait, that was stupid of me. Uh, and oh man, good job on the color coordination. You know, things that r that raise or lower when you press a button are all colored purple. That's good design. I'm just gonna eat that hit. Oh shit! How do I get through there without dying? That's the one downside, is, uh, keep getting sent all the way back to the start whenever I fuck up. Alright. Ah, shit. I was trying to not crush myself. Let me out. Let me out! Another thing I think would be a fun thing to train myself in coding is to pick random Nitrum games and remake them as 3D games. Uh, and I think it would be the Nitrum 64 series if I did it, but that's a whole different thing. Like, you know, the games like there, they were guy. Or, yeah, you're right, this is in the same area as, uh, Scribble and Sandman. Small Fry, yeah, you're right. That is, like, a very much a trope of Nitrum I never thought about. I still really, really think there needs to be a Nitrum collect- even- or maybe just drop it on mobile platforms, a port of all the Nitrum games. Like, these games should- Nitrum should not let their old game library get lost to time, you know? They're very good game designers, and their games should be recognized. If I hold space, does it keep them down? It does! I did not realize that until now. Shit, hang on. 
go. I did not realize that was a thing, and I'm glad I now know it. They're like the opposite of the other things. Move faster when you hold. Okay. Oh god, hang on. I don't like this. How is I supposed to avoid getting hit there? Oh, that's, you know, I'm not gonna worry about getting that one because I'm just gonna end up shooting myself trying to get it. here. That's rather tough of a uh, puzzle. And now a more complex version of the same- or actually, you know, it's not really much more complex, huh? Oh, fuck me, I fucked that up. I don't really care about getting the gems. I just want to beat the games, you know? All of you at home can try and get the gems if that's what you want to do. Oh, no, 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 no. What was I supposed to do there? Oh, I see there's fans. Oh, that thing can't crush me, apparently. <laughs> it just glitches me through to the other side. Wow, despite my fuck up at the end, we made it through that level. I really thought I was gonna fuck it. Once each time you press space, so make sure it's pre your press counts. Okay. That's pretty... Man, there's now punishments for ma button mashing. Yeah, very clearly most of the difficulty in this game come... This feels like a... So far, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my words later on. So far, the difficulty curve in this game feels much nicer than in the other ga Nitro games. See, they have two pieces of the the Nintendo school of difficulty. Uh, piece number one is... Oh shit, I'm going too fast. I'm about to take damage. Piece number one is uh, make, the, make your average difficulty be going through the level, and then a hard mode comes from trying to get the collectibles. Nintendo adds an extra level of more or less adding a built-in skip level button than for when you fail enough And I do think Nitrum would benefit from that and I would probably play a lot more levels in Nitrum games if there was something like I think getting all of the gems in a level should reward you by giving you the ability to skip a later on level It's just better with difficult curves when it comes to puzzle games yeah, their platforming games are fucking harsh. Alright, what is that cannon for? I don't really see why I would have wanted to use that cannon. Yeah, you can definitely make this game way harder if you want to be aiming for all the collectibles. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, oh, I fucked up there. Hey, I just fucked myself up, didn't I? Hey, what is the key even for? Is that just for a collectible? Ah, oh, shit. I just crushed myself. I like the little uh, feather falling separate from the head slower. That's a very cute aesthetic choice. You know, I don't care about collectibles. 
That's an entirely optional path. I've proven I can do it once. It's not infuriating me so far. Some of the games infuriated me right off rip, you know? Like, Final Ninja was immediately aggravating to control. Uh-oh. Okay, I see. Shit. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I just... Oh, you know what? Actually, I think that's for the better what I just did there. There's a lot of moving parts to track now. We're, we're hitting the difficulty curve, I think. This is it. Oh shit. same key for them almost the whole time and now I see that wasn't the case and uh, so I lucked out with that one Woohoo, that was almost bad all right what's going on in the next level Ooh, is that guy gonna rotate Oh, it's not on a grid rotation, it's a dynamic rotation. Oh my god, that that completely changes things. That's, that guy doesn't operate on a grid like 90% of the rest of the game does. Oh my god. Ah oh shit, I crushed myself. All right. Oh man, this game's getting really good, really fast. Uh, how far did we get? Oh wow, we are blowing through this game. Oh man, it's always the best Atrium games that feel like I get through the fastest. Uh, 
I think that's it for this episode, so be sure to come back next week for more. Uh, and remember, head to the Discord where you can vote for this be to become a daily series where I will play a Nitrum game every single day of the week. Uh, end cards will be appearing in a moment. Love all you very, very much, and ta-ta for now.